Hello, my name is Scott, and today we're going to be adding locomotion in our MetaQuest VR Unity project. When I mean uh, locomotion, I'm talking about teleportation and also smooth locomotion where you can kind of glide back and forth. Now, to do this, we need to start with our blank uh, MetaQuest Unity VR project, which I have set up here already. If you don't know how to get to this point or set up such a project, you can check my previous video, and I'll put the link in the description. But to start with, what we want to do is go to Meta XR Tools that comes out of the SDK and go to the building blocks. And you'll notice uh, for teleportation, it's very simple. We have a building block available. So we just click on this button. Uh, we have a couple of variants. We have a hotspot, nav mesh, physics layer blocker, hotspot obviously being the one where you can only uh, teleport to particular locations or hotspots. Um, I want kind of free teleportation, but I do want to have some control over the areas that you can teleport to and not teleport to. So I'm going to go with a nav mesh. If you're not familiar with nav meshes, basically it's kind of a baking of polygons uh, onto the floor uh, around obstacles. Uh, that we use to define the walkable area of the level, um, both for players and also, for example, with AI. So it's a pretty powerful way to do it. Um, this is what I'm going to go with. So I hit confirm, and that adds some things. Now, to be able to see this, though, we do need to actually have a floor. So I'm just going to really simply add a plane. And just for illustration, I'm also going to add a sort of obstacle. We'll put a cube. Uh, and just kind of drag it over here somewhere. It doesn't really matter where it goes. And here's the important part. All we really need now is our nav mesh to show where we can teleport. And to do this, we go uh, and right click under AI. There's a nav mesh surface. This is what we need. Um, really, we can just use the default settings. The one thing I'll point out is that the default area is set to walkable here. Obviously, that means it's the area that you want to be able to walk. You can change this, for example, to non-walkable if you purposely want to block out areas that you can't teleport. Um, but once we have our settings in straight, we just hit the bake button and let Unity do all the magic for us. And there we go. We have our nav mesh. You can see that this kind of uh, bluish area is the areas that we're able to teleport to. Uh, there's some boundary it automatically generated for us around the edges of the plane, around the obstacle. And by the way, if you can't see this, notice here on the bottom right, uh, there's a show nav mesh option just to make sure that you can see this. So now let's test it out. This really should be it for teleportation, but let's see if it works. Okay, now for glide locomotion. There's some bad news and good news here. The bad news is that there isn't a building block available currently for glide locomotion. However, there is a script available that we can wire up ourselves. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Uh, under packages, we'll go to the MetaXR Interaction SDK Essentials, Runtime, Prefabs, Locomotion, and then we'll see this controller slide. This is the one we're going to wire up. The way we do it is we go to our OVR camera rig interaction, OVR camera rig, OVR interaction comprehensive. And under this, we're going to go to controllers because we want to run it with the controllers, obviously. And I'm going to put the locomotion controls or the glide controls on the left hand. So I'll go to the left controller under the interactors and the locomotion control interactor group. If we look in here, we can see this teleport uh, control that we added earlier. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to disable it by unchecking this box here. So I don't want it to get in the way of the controls. And there's one last thing we need to do, which is to add this controller slide prefab in this group and wire up uh, the broadcast. So what that means is the way this SDK works is that whenever you send a signal, basically it's sending like a locomotion event. And so we need to make sure that that's being sent properly. To do so in this locomotion controller interactor group, if you look on the right hand side, uh, this area, Locomotion Events Connection, there's this Broadcaster section. And you'll see that we have uh, the Turn Interactor and also the Teleport Interactor in there currently. Obviously, we don't need the Teleport one anymore, so I'm just going to overwrite that with the controller slide by dragging and dropping on top of that. And that's it. That's what we got to do. So let's take a look. So as you can see, we can now glide around using the controller on our left hand, uh, using smooth locomotion. However, you can also see that we do have a problem. We can clip through this cube. 
This is a pretty common problem in VR, and the bad news is that, at least to what I've been able to find, there's not any sorts of scripts or functions available in the Meta SDK that helps us to deal with this. However, I am going to provide a custom script that can help us with this. I'll put the link in the description uh, where you can pick that up, but I will now show you how to set that up. So under the OVR camera rig interaction over your camera rig, we'll go into the tracking space on the center eye anchor and then drop this Meta XR head blocking script that you can get in the description. And the only thing you need to do here is for the player, we need to drag and drop the OVR camera rig as this player. Now I'm going to explain what this does. Basically the reason we're putting the script on the center eye anchor is that we're going to be testing for collisions on the head. And if we find any, we're going to push back the player position in inverse of those kind of forward motions of the head. So this is going to give an impression that uh, either the world is being pushed out in front of you or you're pushing the world out with your head, either way you want to see it. But it keeps it so that your head won't be clipping through different walls. It'll, it'll stop you in your movement, essentially. So now I'll show you how that looks. And so as you can see, I am not clipping through this cube when I try to move through it. Also, if I lean over and try to put my head through it, uh, it will not clip through the mesh as well. So that's it. Thanks so much for viewing today, and I hope you got a little bit of help out of this tutorial. Thank you.